So couch, couple dressers, mirror TV stand, pretty basic household stuff. They understand the pricing and all that, so it should be a pretty easy one. After being in the business for a little while, uh, you start to see things out there and how they work regarding the recycling and just actually how much waste there is out there and that's been going straight to the landfill and how much of that needs to be diverted and, and reused and repurposed. It was a little bit mind-boggling at first. Technically, my profession is I'm a denture implant specialist, but a few years back, just started to see what else was out there, what else could, uh, could I do with myself and my time. So upon checking this out, I found that there was a niche market here for full service moving and junk removal services and thought that we have to approach this from a recycle standpoint, which we felt was missing here in Edmonton. People look at our reviews, they see five stars, five stars, five stars. So they are expecting you guys to show up all clean, truck all shiny and get great service. So we need to wow them. So remember when the job is finished, make sure and ask the customer, is there a little something that you can do? All right. Okay, cool. And remember, just drive safe, take your time. Yep. All right. Hunks actually stands for honest, uniformed, nice, knowledgeable service. And obviously we have a lot of fun with that acronym. A lot of times we will get that comment, are they really hunks? Are hunks really gonna show up at my house? And they do. We believe that our crew is only as good as at the tools they have to succeed. So we make sure that all our crew members are armed with everything they need, including the knowledge of recycling and how it works. And of course, the customer loves the fact that we are doing our due diligence and doing all this work just to better the environment. And the crew would be giving you a call at this number when they're on their way over tomorrow between 10 and 12 noon. Okay, I'll make sure to put that on the order, sir. Thank you, take care, have a good day. I really like all the sustainability stuff that we're doing for the environment. It seems like it's coming to my generation kind of thing to help fix all the stuff that's going on with the environment. So being able to attribute to that directly through work is pretty cool. I've had customers tell me that they've specifically chosen us because they know that we're repurposing and recycling items properly, um, which is a really good thing to hear rather than people that are just concerned about getting it done for the cheapest way necessary. Three years ago when we first started this, we were getting all these great items from people, so why not get them to the right place? And we approached some of the bigger donation and charities here, and what we have done here is successfully created this program with Goodwill here at the Impact Center, uh, where we are trying to achieve that over 90% sustainability. And we are the only franchise out of over 110 of them that has gotten to this level of success, where our junk percentage and trips to the landfill are just becoming less and less and a thing of the past. So to follow the journey of like a donatable item such as a chair, when the guys go out, they'll pick up the item, make sure that it's put into the truck properly and packed safely. When the guys bring it back, they make sure that it's put into the specific area, whether it's for Habitat for Humanity or for Goodwill. Then Habitat or Goodwill will come pick it up from their specific spot in our shop, and then they put it in their outlet, and a lucky customer gets to take home and repurpose a nice piece of furniture. It pretty much just goes from one home right to another. Like Goodwill, we're trying to push for as high self-sustainability as we can. I know Goodwill is looking for 100%. We do still pick up junk removal items, but we're looking to just get as high as sustainability as we can, keep learning each day different ways to repurpose and reuse items, different ways to divert things from the landfill and make sure that they're getting uh, recycled rather than just brought to the dump. So from 2018, we have diverted, reused, or recycled and repurposed 613 mattresses and box springs, 364 couches, 392 office desks, 168 fridges and freezers, 312 televisions, 110 stoves, 147 washers and dryers, roughly 135 tables, 
and 540 chairs. So all those items did not go to the landfill. Alberta can be so much better with people just becoming educated on, on all the resources and ways out there that their items can be reused. We want to every day learn more and more about what can we do with our recycling initiatives. We're always trying to come up with something different and the, the methods that we have in place right now, we're just trying to make them better. So every day we're always thinking, how can we do this better? How can we do that aspect better? And just make things much more efficient.